you've loved Miss Day 16. 16. Only nine sleeps till Christmas. We're in single figures. Aww. Where's this ever going? Oh, he's still so poorly. But he doesn't have COVID. PCR test came back this morning negative, so that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So let's start today with some Advents. Richard, would you like to open them? Or you've not opened them for a while? I've not done. Was there a chocolate omelette on purpose? That was what was left from um, yesterday, because there was like five of them. I couldn't eat them all. <laughs> the challenge of finding the numbers on this calendar. <laughs> 16. 16. Snowman. A snowman. How lovely. Oh, Coin oh. down. I've got a lot of eclairs in this one. You, well, you, you said that's what you wanted. Did I? Yeah, I asked you what you wanted. You were like, uh, 12 or eclairs. So Check that's what you've got. local Christmas lights. Okay. We're off on a tour. Well, we'll do that. We'll probably do that later tonight because there's no point doing that now. No. <laughs> in the daytime. So we will do that tonight. We will go and drive around and find out, find some little Christmas lights in the local area. And I'll show you tomorrow if we find any decent ones. Right, what have we got in Harry Potter today? Hedwig. Is it a Hedwig? Yeah. Ah, uh, so I guess we're shopping in Diagon Alley now in this bit. So he's got his books, he's got his wand, and obviously Hagrid buys him Hedwig. Cute. There we go, Advent's done. So our plans for today, now we know that Richard is allowed out, because he's just got man flu, haven't you? He's too, he can't even talk while he's concentrating on doing his Lego. I don't understand. <laughs> oh. Plans for today are, well, I know that the only plan I've got really is to go and get my prescription from Boots, hopefully. Fingers crossed, finally, because... Oh, it's a chocolate frog. Oh, it's a chocolate frog. Okay, so it's a head we're going to chocolate frog. Let me show you this before I talk anymore. <laughs> Platform nine and three quarters ticket. A Hedwig. That's why I was confused because they don't build up into anything. Okay, so we've got a Hedwig, a platform nine and three quarters ticket, and a chocolate frog box, box. and a chocolate frog with a chocolate frog in it. Very cute. That's not going to be there for very much longer, is it? I can see that going missing with the cats. To be fair, I think I've got spare chocolate frogs from some of the other Harry Potter sets we've got. I think the Hogwarts, uh, the Hogwarts Express set that we've got. I think I've probably got in our box of Lego. So this is our box of spare Lego bits. In there somewhere is probably another chocolate frog. So there we go. So like I was saying, my only plan for today, I'm gonna to sit down. I think he's infected me. Um, my only plan for today is to go and pick up my prescription for boots in Prestatin. Um, and my other thinking was to do some more hot chocolate bombs and maybe do some baking for the gifts for the neighbours. I'm really tired today, so I'm sorry if I seem a bit the, um, ended up sleeping in the spare bedroom last night because Richard's uh, snoring. He snores anyway, but when he's unwell, his snoring is like ridiculous. So I ended up sleeping in the spare bedroom at like half one this morning. So a little bit tired, but anyway, I might do some baking because my plan for the gifts for the neighbours is they get two hot chocolate bombs and then they get two cupcakes each. So, might do that. One thing we are considering doing, and I think we probably will, now that we know that our task can't be done until this evening, um, is go to Broughton, which is about a 25 minute drive away from us, because there has just been a Tim Hortons opened. If you don't know what Tim Hortons is, it's a Canadian kind of coffee company. It's like a Canadian Starbucks, basically. But they do really good coffee, really good donuts, um, we've not been to a Tim Hortons in years. The last time we went was when we were in Cardiff a few years back. Um, I think when we were seeing Ed Sheeran. So that was like quite a few years ago now. Um, I think that was the last time we went to a Tim Hortons. And uh, it's got a very special place in our heart. And if you have ever seen the musical Come From Away, there's lots of references to Tim Hortons in that. And yeah, that's like our favourite musical, so. I'm just rambling now. I don't really know what to say. But yeah, I think we're probably going to head to Broughton um, and go get a Tim Hortons coffee. And then probably head to Prestatin so I can get my prescription 
and then I will come back and do some baking. Before we head out, Rich is just having to do some paperwork. I thought I'd show you like the presents that we got from my family's Christmas celebration. Some some cool stuff. Uh, mostly alcohol. <laughs> so there is this bottle. This bottle. So two bottles of like Prosecco. And then a bottle of red wine. And then Richard got some whiskey, a nice Jameson set with a glass, and some uh, mixes, which I'm very happy about because I drink a lot of the ginger ale with this. <laughs> pink gins, so I, pink gin and ginger ale is my favorite drink at the moment. And then we also got another little Prosecco set, so lots of booze to keep us going over Christmas and New Year. Um, we got a nice big box of celebrations because who doesn't love Christmas chocolate? And also some Christmas chocolate biscuits, um, which I had to open on my way home from London because I was starving and I didn't, couldn't be bothered to get out of the car and go and get something at the services. Um, then this is probably one of my favourite things we got. We also got like money and stuff from my mum, which was very much appreciated. Um, so Richard got a mug that says, Richard is the boss. It's a cool mug. But then I got a mug that says, Victoria is the real boss. Ah, they are so cool. So yeah, thank you to all my family for all our wonderful presents. It was really, really nice. We did really well. Um, and yeah, we don't need to buy any booze for quite some time now. really like blinded by the sun there <laughs> we are back we've had a lovely morning now haven't we going to tim hortons are you going to stop it <laughs> going to tim hortons tim hortons tim hortons had a, a lovely meal with some i had some chicken tenders and some fries and rich had a burger and we had some lovely coffee and of course we bought some donuts to come home we didn't go to nuts we got two each so i've got a honey cruller and a millionaire's caramel and then Rich has got an original kind of glazed one and was that a strawberry cream one? Strawberry vanilla cream. Strawberry vanilla cream one, so we shall enjoy those later, I'm sure. Oh, and Rich had to get a pot of the instant coffee. Because it is really good coffee. Like, yeah, we like it, so. And we don't want to make this an espresso. Yeah, not like we don't have enough coffee in this house, but now we have Tim Hortons coffee. <laughs> I also finally got my prescription, hooray! It only took a week and a half. Nearly two, actually. Oh. But yeah, finally got my prescription. So plan now is I'm gonna do some baking, I'm gonna bake some cupcakes. Rich, I don't know what Rich is gonna do. Hopefully maybe tidy up the house a bit. Cause it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> Him being ill, me being away, it's just all got a bit messy. But yeah, I'm gonna bake some cupcakes. Hey guys, so I have just finished making my cupcake batter. Um, I didn't film it, um, not sure why. <laughs> I will put the recipe and method and everything I used to make this batter uh, down in the description. This is the first uh, thing I ever learned how to bake was uh, a sponge cake. It's a basic vanilla sponge recipe or you know white sponge whatever you want to call it um, and it's the, one of the only things that I bake that I don't even have to ever look at a description or a recipe for. It's been ingrained in me since I was about six years old how to use this batter, uh, how to make this batter even. So it's really simple and you can scale it up or scale it down depending on how many cakes or how big a cake you want to make. So it's basically whatever you use in ounces of flour, self-raising flour, caster sugar, butter, you use half the eggs. So for this I've used 10 ounces of butter, 10 ounces of self-raising flour and 10 ounces of caster sugar and I've used 5 eggs. And then I always add a little splash of milk in. Um, or you can add vanilla essence, just something to make it a bit creamier. But there we go. It's the simplest recipe ever. But yeah, gonna put these in my cupcake cases. These are my Christmasy cupcake cases. They came from Lakeland. 
very very cute um and i always when i'm making cupcakes i use a muffin tray with my cupcake cases in i think it just makes them i don't know just stay keep in nice shape when you do it that way so i'm going to get these done and put them in the oven hopefully i've got enough batter to make 24 cupcakes that's the plan 24 cupcakes my cupcakes are done they're all just cooling so um i'm probably actually going to leave these overnight to cool and i will ice them tomorrow and i'll show you how i ice them if you watched the vlog yesterday where i kind of gave i gave a little montage of everything i got up to at my mum's uh, you'll see the cakes that i'm gonna make again so they're like christmas wreath cupcakes so yeah uh, i would do them now but time is getting on we want to go out on a little christmas decoration light hunt um need to edit this vlog we need to have some dinner and time just there's just not enough hours in the day but i will get them done tomorrow i've also done a couple more uh, hot chocolate bombs as well today i look who's sneaking around <laughs> i've made a few more hot chocolate bombs i've still got loads of them to make so tomorrow is literally going to be a pure baking decorating kind of day oh how you're not doing you don't do any of that <laughs> I just clean up. No, you don't. I clean up. Lies. Oh, lies. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a magical day. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>